Hello, I'm Fire Chief Patrick Sullivan, and this is a de brief demonstration of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, and use of an automatic external defibrillator. Well, this is a brief demonstration. It is not a substitute for a full training class, which I would highly recommend. But CPR is absolutely a life-saving skill that anyone can learn. In almost 38 years of being an EMS, every successful cardiac arrest save I've ever been to, someone has started CPR almost immediately, whether it has been a first responder or a bystander. And again, this is a skill that virtually anyone can learn. And we'll demonstrate the simple hands-only CPR here today. So again, first step, if you find someone unresponsive, see if they respond to you. Tap them and shout, hey, hey, you okay, you okay? If they don't respond, immediately call for help. Yell out to someone, have them go call 911. If you're by yourself, call 911 first. You wanna get that professional help, get an AED coming, get paramedics coming as quickly as possible. Nowadays, with cell phones or portable phones, bring it right back to the patient and put it on speakerphone so you can talk to 911 while you're doing CPR. And if you're not sure, they can talk you through how to do CPR over the phone. But again, once you've shaken them, no response, quickly open their airway and look to see if you see any signs of movement, uh, chest rise, sound of them breathing, eyelid flutter, anything like that, you look for a good five to 10 seconds. So there's no response. So you immediately wanna press hard and fast in the center of their chest at a rate of about 100 to 120 times per minute. So place your hands immediately, uh, right in the center of their chest. You don't want to be down on the lower end of the rib cage or way up high, right in the middle. Lock your hands together, lock your elbows, and bend at the waist. And again, press at 100 to 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you would continue this until someone else arrives and takes over, professional help gets there, or you're too tired to continue. But what you're doing is you're keeping that blood circulating for these people. Someone in cardiac arrest, for every minute that they're not receiving CPR, their chance of survival decreases by about 10%. So it's critically important within those first couple minutes for someone to start CPR as quickly as possible and then to get the AED there as quickly as possible as well. AEDs or automatic external defibrillators are a machine that can deliver a shock to the heart if it's indicated and it restarts the heart's own electrical system operating. Oftentimes in a cardiac arrest, the heart is either beating extremely fast or it's beating in a disjointed fashion. What this machine will do will deliver a shock that stops it for a brief second and allows the heart's own electrical system to start working again. These machines are everywhere. You can find them in shopping malls, gyms, doctor's offices, schools. They're very much everywhere nowadays and they are very simple to operate. All the machines have basically two buttons, an on-off button and an orange shock button. There's several different manufacturers, but they all work the same way. To use one, press the button Adult patient. and turn it on. If the patient is a child, press the child button. Hopefully someone's here still doing CPR while you're setting this up. Chest. 
on the pads, it shows where these pads go on the person's chest. So you take them out, and again, it shows right on the pads where they would go. And apply pads onto patients, but press pads firmly on skin. Again, both sides. shown in the pic, do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart As soon as it says, do not touch the patient, do not touch the you patient. stop CPR, Analyzing let the machine shock see what the heart rhythm is. Do now it's detected a rhythm patient. that it can shock. Everyone clear. Press the flashing shock button. Once that happens, you make sure no one Press is touching the them. Shock button now. Press the button. Shock it delivers delivered. a shock to the heart. Begin CPR. You would immediately go back to CPR. So hands in the middle of the chest. Begin your compressions. 10. Because it may take a few minutes for the heart to start beating again on its own. Unfortunately, it's not like on TV that you deliver the shock and the person sits up and everything's fine. You're treating a symptom of what's going on. They still need advanced care, treatment by paramedics, further treatment at the hospital, but you're giving them a much better chance of survival. Again, getting that CPR started within the first couple minutes of a cardiac arrest and getting an AED to them within about four minutes. Thank you, and by all means, again, please take a CPR class. This is only a brief demonstration of CPR. Thank you.